Hello guys, welcome back on our Audio Tribe YouTube channel. My name is Luca and this is my friend John. Hello guys. In this video we will make a teardown of the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin speaker because uh, this speaker it is damaged and we after the teardown, the full teardown, we will uh, gonna change and replace the internal uh, amplifier with this uh, audio amplifier with lamps which should provide like 50 watts so this is a class d amplifier so without further ado we are gonna go straight into the teardown so for this speaker first we must take down these covers from the front if there is a clips here which must be pressed it's uh, inside it's hard to be seen here but uh, you must just press here to release the clip here is the same i will press here and of course you can break it as i did but since this is broken it will work so we have here the tutors two speakers and the woofers so, so two mid-range speakers and one woofer this speaker has 200 watts of power had 200 watts of power no it has zero okay uh, since somebody else uh, did open this speaker uh, we have no screw in the front of the speaker so we have nothing to remove from here we will have just two screws here at the end of the speaker so so this is the inside of the bowers and Wilkins zeppelin speaker so these are the speakers 25 watts on the medium speakers so on 4 ohms the tutors are here 20 watts on 6 ohms and we have the woofer which is 50 watts on 7 ohms so it is a very big woofer and the speaker uh, it is very heavy i think it is almost uh, 12 kilograms so uh, we did test this speaker it doesn't work the power supply it's uh, broken and uh, we will play a bit with it to see how it works so this is the this is the power supply of course we don't need it anymore okay for this test this is the main board yes this is the bluetooth module the mod the bluetooth module So it is kind of simple to make a teardown and it is quite simple to replace the broken parts but unfortunately we don't have a power supply to change it and uh, it must be checked and see. it is just too expensive it costs around 70 to 80 dollars and it doesn't worth it because the speaker cost us 30 dollars so only the woofer uh, worth at least thirty dollars. Okay. So because this speaker it is a three-way speaker, and this amplifier it is only a two-point-zero speaker, so it is stereo. We will change the the internal uh, amplifier with this amplifier that is a two-point-one channel. So we have an exit on the woofer and an exit on the mids and the highs so let's give it a test to power up this one which is a better option for this uh, woofer we will connect the speakers we have left and right and the subwoofer at this channel and we must power this up to give it a try so that is a uh, 200 watts amplifier i will use this uh, power supply which uh, will provide us 
just 120 watts so we will not give it the maximum power of this amplifier but this is what we got so let's give it a try so now we will uh, connect all the cables at the speakers we will remove the original cables from all the speakers and we will solder new cables in order to connect them at the amplifier so the big speaker will be at the subwoofer here we have the subwoofer position and left and right channel we will have it uh, connected here with the mid-range speakers and the tutors to protect the tutors we will install a, a capacitor with the 4.7 uh, uh, microfarad so let's start install this to these speakers We have all the cables connected we have the capacitor which will protect the tutor because the tutor it's a, a lower power than the medium and we want we don't want to put 50 watts on these tutors so let's put the things back to the speaker and then connect the wires to the amplifier if we will not connect the housing, the sound will not be that great. So the sound... Uh... I will make a sign to the right channel in order to know which side is which. I don't think it will matter, because... but just to be sure. Uh, since we have a big hole in the back of the speaker, we will put all the cables there. So this is how you can do a $30 speaker, transform it into a $200 speaker, if it will sound good. And the amplifier, it is a very good amplifier. How much did you say that it costs? I don't uh, remember for sure, but it's uh, from China using Aliexpress. Uh, this one was a bit expensive and this was this was cheaper I don't know 30 bucks or something 30 bucks is not that cheap judging the cost of this speaker it's cheap yeah a brand new Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin cost around $450 to $500 depending on the store I placed the wires through their uh, original spot in order to separate the medium from the woofer and to create a good sound so let's see how to put this wall inside in order not to be disturbing the closing of the speaker So all the connection are made with the speaker and now it will gonna be time to make the connection with the amplifier. This speaker looks very good and it is a hi-fi high fidelity speaker. I will respect the polarity of the wires. So the red is positive, black is negative. So we have all the speakers connected 
woofer, right channel, left channel. Everything is in place. Let, let's put the jack into the amp. Let's put it here in order to We have here the volume and frequency for the subwoofer. We will probably need to adjust this. So this is treble and bass for the medium speakers. We will put it in the middle. So main volume. Let's power this up. So we go we have connected the the new amplifier with the jack cable to the to the phone because the this amplifier doesn't have a bluetooth so that was the sound and it sound uh, it sounds very good let's uh... so i think this will be the first time that we will uh, make something nice you know? Let's hear it. The sound was very, very good. I cannot say that that it is high fidelity, but it is good enough for repairing this type of speaker with uh, uh, this. Of, of course, it doesn't sound like the original for sure. But the speaker at this point has some bass. Uh, you can hear the mid and the tweeters. It's not the same quality like the original, but uh, it's an easy fix and cheaper. So we have connected the second amplifier that looks amazing. And now we're gonna do a sound test with it. The first amplifier sounded good, but we already uh, wanted to hear this one too. So the vibration that you heard was uh, from the housing but the amplifier sounds better and since we have done uh, we don't have the screws from the speaker uh, uh, the the case won't uh, won't stay put there and uh, it's not a good sound when the bass is hitting yeah i really like i didn't hope uh, to sound that good and it sounds very loud 
So, what do you think for me this kind of uh, this kind of uh, repair works? So, it is an upgrade, it is a downgrade, I don't know, but I can definitely tell you that this makes the, the speaker works and it works good. Now we can <laughs> we need to find a way to put some battery inside to upgrade it with everything. Since the original uh, speaker didn't have the didn't batteries, have. I don't see a point to do a battery because it's very heavy to... to it to is very heavy because the, the base uh, driver, it is very mm. powerful. You saw the, the magnet. Powerful and big, of course. So, that was the video. I am very glad that this works and it sounds good. So, in the house, you can use it without an issue. Feel free to subscribe to Audio Tribe YouTube channel and please hit the like button. Cheers!